Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanted to show you a little trick for enabling SSH on your Raspberry Pi before you even boot it up. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. All right, so I had a comment left on one of my uh, recent videos that was asking how to enable SSH uh, without a monitoring keyboard and mouse. I run all of my Pis headless, and this is kind of a cool little trick to know, so that you can enable it before you even boot up your Raspberry Pi. So all I've done right now is I've taken uh, the latest version of Buster and flashed it to my micro SD card. Now this works not only with Buster, but Stretch. Uh, if I remember right, it worked with Jesse as well. So it uh, should work on just about any uh, version of Raspberry Pi that you can download. All right, so right down here in the bottom of the screen is the uh, drive that contains uh, the image that I just flashed over, so the micro SD drive. I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and you'll just see a bunch of uh, random files that the Pi needs to boot. All we're going to do right here is right-click, say New File, and a New Text File. When this comes up, we're going to say SSH right there as the file name, and then go ahead and click the Save button. Now, on Windows, it's a little bit different, uh, but, but still quite similar. You can right-click and just say, create a new te uh, text file. You'll give it SSH, and that's it. So, as you can see, this is just a blank file that says, or that's uh, labeled SSH. So, now I'm going to go ahead and boot this uh, image up, and I'll be right back after it's had a couple of minutes to boot. Okay, so now that Pi has had a couple of minutes to boot up after I inserted the micro SD card, I'm on a Mac, so I'm actually going to fire up Terminal. If you're on Windows, you could use uh, an application like Putty to SSH into it. So from here, I'm just going to say SSH Pi at and the IP address that it's sitting on your network. In this case, it's 10.4.36.197. And I'm going to go ahead and hit return. And it's just going to say, are you sure you want to connect? I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to give it the default password of Raspberry. All right, now while we're in here, let's go ahead and enable VNC. So we're going to run sudo raspy. Well, having trouble spelling today, or typing one. sudo raspy-config. We're going to come down to the interfacing options. And we're going to come down to VNC. And we're going to enable VNC. All right, and one other thing while we're here, let's just go ahead and set the resolution. Uh, in Stretch, I didn't have to do this before I could VNC into it. Uh, but something changed in Buster, and I had to set the, uh, the screen resolution before it would allow the VNC connection. So let's come down to Advanced Options and Resolution. And we'll choose the last option there. And when we try to exit, it's going to tell us we need to reboot. I'm going to say yes, and I'll be right back as soon as this reboots. All right, now that the Pi has had a few minutes to reboot... I've opened up the VNC viewer here on the Mac, and I'm going to go ahead and open uh, the web address. And it just tells me that the identity server identity check has failed. I want to continue anyway. And let's tell it Pi and Raspberry, since we haven't changed any of the defaults. And there you go, guys. You're into the Pi, and I've never hooked up a monitor to it. All right, I hope this one helps you out, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.